Right, well it's cleared up, as it says. Big pile of muck there. I've got to decide on this now. Bike shed. I am filming you. <laughs> Lucky little bastard.
bit of water on the top won't make any difference. And here you saw me throw in a few rocks. The hole was massive within, you know, within a limit, that's okay. And when you prod it down, yeah, you saw me prodding that one down over there. You don't want to push the stones down too much, you don't want to prod it too much. Because what you end up with is mainly sand cement on the top layer, you know, you'll end up with four or five inches of sand cement. And the stones are there to prevent shrinkage. So if you push them all down, there's a chance that you'll get cracks in the top. What's in the blue bag? Drink. <laughs> Cheese. Spaghetti bolognese and pasta. <laughs> Right, so I know that that point, that point and that point might be a different level, but I know that one is level across there, that's the lowest point. Now, just two inch ish, two inch, there we go. A little higher. Not a lot, but... So I'm going to put four, cup, four blocks in the corners, measure diagonally, get those the same distance and then it'll be square. Draw some lines on the floor and cut it out. And you see this block here, it's only going to be sort of two inch out of the ground. But down there it's going to be the full 140 these are, 140 mil box. I had choices of laying a base. I could do a full concrete base. That'd mean the amount of materials, the price on materials, concrete stuff. And I'd have to make some form work, you know, build a mold. Cause this is, you know, only a couple of inch up. I'll probably dig a little bit of this out, you know, to, to get a decent sort of thickness in concrete so it don't break. I could have run two strips of concrete, but that's more form work. It's less concrete, but more form work. Or what I chose to do, which is just to lay, lay two rows of blocks. I don't have to wait so much for these to go off. You know, if I poured concrete, it'd be hard tomorrow, but it'd still be a little bit green, a bit soft. These will be ready to work on tomorrow. And I've just gone with yellow sand. I think I've got <laughs> more than enough, but I prefer to have too much than not enough. So like I said, what I'll do, I could have used anchors and all sorts of things like that, but nah. Opted for a base, you know, put a wooden base on, build a shed. And it's a shed that you can put a bike in now with a wood store on the sun. Rather than a bike shed, it's going to be a shed with a bike in it, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'll get this, get this marked out, cut a couple of strips. Right, so I've got four blocks laid out. You could use timber or something, you know, but I'm just using blocks. 1200 mil across, 1200 mil across, three meters and three meters, but they're not square. You know, that isn't 90 degrees. So, from there, so there is three, two, four, five. I'll do it this way. And from there to there 
it's three, two, two, five. So four or five the other way, two, five this way. So I need this block to be there, three, five. I need these just to move just that little bit. So that it's three, two, three, five on both. So if I just move that over a little bit. Three two three oh. That'll do. Three two three five. Check that distance. Now, if I make that three meters, you see it's moved that much. Make that 1200. Oops. Just need to check that again. Oh, come on. I'll do. So that should now be three, two, three, five in theory. Nearly the flop. So now that is square. So what I'm gonna do is use a straight piece of timber. When you pick up a piece of timber, if it's bent, it'll roll over in your hand. So look down it from the end, hold it from the end. I don't think these are all pretty straight. You see how see how that one's got a bend in it? When I pick it up, it wants to it wants to just naturally fall over that way. You know, even if I hold it up like that, look. But this one, that's got a bit of a bend in it as well, but, but you see how it... It's not a good example that one. That's pretty straight. They don't want to immediately roll over on you. Like oh. this one. See that just bends straight over. So you can tell if a piece of wood's bent almost immediately when you pick it up. That'll do. Near enough for me. So I'm going to cut that strip out. I'll do the same here. Right, so I'm all ready to start cutting. I'm not going to go too deep because pipes should be well below, you know, these pipes and any wires or anything. But I have seen them quite close. I don't know what this tarmac's been cut out for. So I'm just going to go just through the surface, a couple of inch. Because like I say, I've seen them just below the surface.
Right, so that that one's a little low, but if I run that over there, see that's pretty level, but it's slightly high. But now I know that's my level, so I can just skim off it enough to that point, take off a little bit more, maybe. And then that blocks the height that it's going to be. I can level across, take a bit out there, same there, take that down, work my way along. So I can just chisel out a little bit of this now. The drive's knackered so we're not bothered but it might have been easier, you know, just to pour, to make sure and pour concrete swings around about in it. Like I say this drive's knackered, this shed's gonna be here for a long time. Right so that's what I've dug out. It's about three inch down there. Probably have to build that up a little bit but it raises up that way. It's sort of level to about there so I'll have to make up that but be right. As you saw I'm using yellow building sand. It's a bit too coarse for brick laying. I don't really have the words for that, it's building sand third of that to two of those so a similar mix to the concrete that I did I prefer possibly too much cement than not enough you know I prefer this to be hard and a splash of this see how old this is plasticizer helps to slow down you know when you when you pack cement down and it, it goes hard that stuff you know helps to keep it keep it a little bit fluid keeps it you know workable stops it drying out a little bit
Right, so they're in. I didn't film a lot of it because I can't teach you anything on this. Apart from maybe don't feck around with blocks. Just put some formwork down and pour concrete. Hard work on my back. I filled this up. It's still quite soft. So I'll leave that for half an hour and then I'll be able to smooth it off a little bit better. It was all soil and muck. It stopped the weeds growing up the back there. You see I've got just two inch there, which is what I wanted the shed off the floor. But then I've got the full block width down there. So there's going to be a step in, but I always knew that. Right, I'll go shopping for wood tomorrow.